having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Accra, Ghana. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. And today, we're going on the ultimate Ghanaian street food tour of Accra. I'm going to meet up with my friends Majid and Ernest. They're going to take us around. Uh, we're going to eat some incredibly delicious Ghanaian food. And I'm going to share it all with you in this video right now. Bây giờ mời các bạn theo chân em mặt quen nha để đi khám phá uh, ẩm thực của uh, Ghana. Thank you. We jumped in the car. We met up with Majid Hello. and Ernest, yeah. and we are on our way to start eating. Majid, where are we going first? Yeah, we're going to the fishing harbor, the Jamestown ah, okay. lighthouse. Oh, so that's right on the ocean there. That's right on the ocean, yeah. Oh, and nice. then we're also going to um, eat some f fresh fish with some kinky and some pepper. Chắc and uh, ảnh đi ăn uh, đồ biển nha. Nghe nói là đi xuống dưới bãi biển. Ghanaian street food tour started this morning. <laughs> Jamestown. This is the lighthouse for the iconic lighthouse. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm in the, the car's trying to back up, but we have just arrived to Jamestown. Yeah, the, the white and red lighthouse. It's on the ocean. The really sure what happened, but we met up and talked with some guys from the community. They're going to walk us around to this fishing village. Uh, past the, the lighthouse. Uh, the boxers, uh, famous boxers are coming from. from this community? Okay, great. Hi, boxing is good too. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> good, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Jamestown, we love each other. So whether you are from Jamestown or not, <laughs> Thank you very much. Ở đây coi như vậy chứ người ta nói tiếng Anh đó nha các bạn. Chắc có lẽ mấy đứa trẻ nó cũng học vào tiếng Anh. Most of the people in this community are still fishermen. Yeah, in this community, the main job over there is fishing. Yeah, 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 the main job over there is Yeah, you can immediately smell that smoke, that fishy smoke coming up. This is where they're smoking này nó cũng có tới 24 triệu dân á, cũng khá. Okay. Hạn chế độ tự do, nhưng mà cũng tội nghiệp nó cũng nghèo. Cái thu nhập nó kém hơn Việt Nam chút xíu. The women smoke and preserve the fish, and that's what that's what sustains this community. Cái đất nước này là vàng không đó nha các bạn. Bạn nào muốn kiếm vàng đi qua đây lộn vài cục vàng về chơi. Oh, oh, cool camera. How are you? What is your name? Bye bye. Cái chai đó 40 xu We're starting with a little local palm wine Oh yeah It's really sour Really sour And tastes like yeasty Oh yeah Nothing like getting Chua lắm, không biết cái nước hay nước gì We're starting with a little palm wine Okay Yeah, that almost tastes like lime juice Like a, like very strong lime juice Egg, right? You put pepper in there with onions Alright, awesome Let's try it Come on, come on Come on, come on Come on, come on Come on she has a, a pan full of hard boiled eggs. She peels the eggs and then she has a little bowl of, it's called pepe, right? The pepper sauce? Pepper sauce, chili sauce with onions in it. She, she peels the egg. She cuts it in half and then she fills the egg with the pepe, uh, making a little like it's like an egg little a little egg sandwich. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh, the eggs are really juicy. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, that's delicious. Got the crunchy onions. Got that pepe. It's like 
chili, it's salty, it's oniony, it's awesome. Really good. Hello. How are you? Thấy nó đang thui rồi, các bạn biết đây là cái dùng Tây Phi Ghana Tức là cái đất nước là dùng Tây Phi Thân nhìn thấy cái quan cảnh là biết là nó, nó nghèo hay nó giàu liền, thấy không? Where they bring their fresh catch and they were just explaining to me that some of the some of the fishermen in these wooden boats they'll go out three or four days out to sea yeah, Sometimes a week deep and sometimes a week out to sea Man, that's... Oh, wow This is my first sight of the Atlantic Ocean in Accra, in Ghana. The rolling waves, the fishing boat, it's, it's so colorful. Tiger nut. Tiger nut? Yeah, Ataja milk. Ah, Tiger yeah. nut milk. Yeah. Tiger But the local name is Ataja. It's kind of a beverage. She poured yeah. it out of a... A mayonnaise bottle, but it's definitely not mayonnaise. And then she added a tiger nut milk, I think, right? Hay là tức là con cọp á, thay giờ. Cái hộp con cọp, không biết cái hộp nó giống gì nữa kìa, cái hộp con cọp mà nó cái nó xài ra nó làm sữa đấy. Oh, that's really good. That's very good. It's almost like mm, it's not not too sweet. Mm. It's it's has a like tiny like aroma of of caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. It's very good. Thank you very much. This is very good. Yeah, it is great. <laughs> Excellent. Like the fish. Like a fresh <laughs> đi qua cái xứ này thì ăn là thôi là rẻ thúi luôn. What's amazing is how many people you will meet how many people you will interact with just in a short walking around that short time just walking around that community uh, some of the areas are a little bit on the rough side uh, and it's uh, it's really about who you know and relationships and getting around but in general people are really friendly and welcoming and it's it's really an eye-opener to walk through Jamestown. Right, cool. We have a table back here. Kenke, uh, right? Fish and then some oh, this is where they're making the Kenke back here. Yeah, I think I'll lay on the ground. Kenke is made from corn. Yeah. Okay. And this will be my first time we're going to eat kenke, but we're, they've allowed us to come back here, permission to come and uh, see them making the kenke and where the fish is going. Uh, they're they're mixing the kenke in a pot with a paddle, and that is that is it's really tough work, very very tough work, and, and not only the tough work and the muscle that you have to put into it, but if you could feel this heat, <laughs> this heat is intense. Not only the the temperature and the direct sun. But standing next to these flames of fire that are going, it's, yeah, it's really a much respect, much respect. Uh, but they're preparing the kenke, they're frying the fish over here, which they look to be like giant wheels. Yeah. Wheels, they have the fire going. Yeah, it's, it's blazing hot and they're peeling the fish over here. They're doing everything right here in this little courtyard. เอาเฟลบัตติสิคุณเองก่อนสิไปดิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิ
Go on there and you get you, yeah. Okay, okay. Crush. Crush. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then we have the, the black one, which is called the shito. Shito? Yeah. Okay. And that's also, it's also like red chilies it's or dry chilies? It's dry, it's dry shrimp. We can dry shrimp. <coughs> and there's shrimp in that as well. That spices. And then okay. we put some oil and they cook it in the fire for a while. Okay, you peel off some of the husk. Yeah. And then yes. you just, okay. So you just grab, just grab a piece of, okay. And then you dip it in the sauce. Cái này, cái này là chắc cái bột và là cái anh kia anh trộn trộn hồi nãy đó. Okay, I'll dip into the green, green first. That's what he likes. <laughs> Spicy, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nó ăn cái này nó thấy nó, nó thấy bánh mì hoặc là cơm đó. Oh wow. Yeah, that chili sauce, that chili sauce is amazing. So good. Okay, the kinky. It has a sour taste to it. Yeah. Yeah, slightly fermented, right? Yeah, slightly. Yeah. A little bit. Quite, quite sticky as well. Yeah. It can kind of like stick to your tongue a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go in for some of that shrimp and I'll try some of the the black, the, the, the black sauce, the, the shito. Cái gì mà ăn đôi không? Mm. Oh, the shito is awesome too. It has like that roasted, smoky yeah. taste to it. Yeah. Mm. And it is a little like shrimpy tasting. I'm gonna move into a fish now. Yeah. I'll go for the the big guy. I'll, mm -hmm. Because they're deep fried for so long, you can just you can eat the entire head and all. I'm gonna use his head to to scoop up. Actually, I'll just use it as like a, a spoon. That's it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Pepe. What a sauce. It's so good. I'm with like that crispy, crunchy fish. Nó ăn mà thấy không thấy ớt cái bữa ăn này chắc bốn năm đô la chứ gì That's my first time to eat kenke, which is the starch, but along with those fried fish and those chili dip sauces, the combination of both of them, well, it was, it was delicious. It was an awesome meal, and like Majid was telling me, it's a real, this is a, this is the best that you can get, right? That's right. It's the a, best. The best. <laughs> And that sun is blazing. Oh, okay, the umbrella, yeah, huh? the umbrella is only secured by the coconuts themselves. It keeps blowing over. Uh, but we're stopping. Nothing refreshes like a coconut. We're getting some coconuts freshly chopped open. Oh, man. And these are like really kind of like oval shaped coconuts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This stage right now, I can drink that whole thing without stopping. <laughs> and what's cool is you got to take the spoon off. He cuts a, a slice of the, the husk for your spoon. That's nice and young coconut. Ah, okay, I hear you. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's just like jelly. That's like rejuvenated me a little bit. We're continuing our walk. Majid, what are we stopping here to eat? Yeah, we're gonna have kelewele. Kelewele. Yeah, with some gizad. And then some ganas. With some ganas. So kelewele, it's plantains. It's plantains. Fried plantains. Yeah, and then it's marinated in some chili. Right now, she's adding the gizad to the plantain. Yeah, la khoai tay, la ching. She's cooking back behind her. She's frying the plantains. And then she has everything sitting in this cabinet. Oh, also some ground nuts. Oh, you put the ground nuts inside. That's right. Có một đồng 20 xu à. Oh, and that's really hot. Oh, that must be right on the oil. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. 
what a combination. Oh yeah, the plantains are salty, uh, very tasty, really good. And then you got the crunch of the peanuts to, to change the textures and the chicken gizzard. Yeah. That's great, yeah. I love gizzard, great like crisp texture to it. Yeah. Those are fried too, and salty. Yeah. Forget about snacking snacks. Cái xứ này mà bỏ 100 đô la vô túi. That's, that's good stuff. Ăn chắc là chết môi luôn. We walked over to Independence Square, but now it's called Black Star Square. This is the biggest uh like public square gathering space in Accra. It's a huge area. There's bleachers on the side, there's some monuments around. Uh there's a stadium over on that side and there's a uh, a monument right in the center with a roundabout. Có cái phần động trường ở kế đó. Đó From Black Star Square, we are jumping into a car. Oh, I got stuck. Okay. <laughs> okay, and we're on our way to the next place. Yeah, and you can tell them we go to the now. And this is one of the ultimate Ghanaian street food dishes. You can actually smell the aroma of the chilies and the sauce and the, the rice and the noodles and the fish. I, I, I don't know what else is going to go and do. We're going we're gonna to find out right now. This is Wake Special, one of the guys' favorite food, you know. Awesome. Yeah, yeah it's very What's awesome, name, very tasty. What's your name, man? Ali. Ali, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice yeah. meeting you, too. <laughs> yeah, so that's um, wachi. Wachi. Mucho rice and beans. This that's on the bottom. Rice and beans on the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah. So yeah. since we've already been eating quite a lot today, we're all going to share one plate. But this is a yeah. giant, giant plate of food. That's like the, you, the, how much of the base she added on there, which is all <laughs> rice and beans. That's a foundation. Okay. And then there's also noodles. There's also the gari, which yeah. is the, the cassava powder, yeah. flakes. So yeah. it's, there's yeah. a lot of carbs on the bottom. Yeah. Then there's yeah. skin. There's both the tomato chili stew as well as the the chito, the, the chili sauce yeah. mixture. There's yeah. salad on there. There's egg. Oh, there, this one is meat also yeah. on the top here? Yeah. Okay. Maybe a little bit of that meat, yeah. some of that still. Oh, there's salad too yeah. down here. Make the first bite count. Yeah. With the tomato sauce, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. You got the starchiness of the beans and rice. It's so good. It's hearty. It's flavorful. The egg. It's so good. It is really good. It's a very heavy meal. It's yeah. a very heavy meal. Mm -hmm. And the really thick tomato sauce. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a really solid flavor. It's a real like condensed yeah. tomato sauce. That is like, mm, that's starchy, that's heavy, that's really good. Probably better pick it up. Yeah. Okay, next up for the cow. Cái gì hết này chắc cao lắm là chừng ba bốn đô la. Là 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 mắc lắm nè. And this is like one of the the prized pieces of the the wache. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's a little bit rubbery, but it bites pretty easily. It has a smoky taste. Yeah, that's skin. That's the fries of the plate. You have to eat wache when you're in Ghana. That's a must eat. We jumped in taxi. We are on our way to go eat fufu next. The name of this place again? The Shanyana? Shanyana Mia. And what does it translate to? Means that. See what God has done. See what God has done. Yeah. Okay. This restaurant, it's called the Chop Bar. Yeah. See what God has done is the name. And they're all excited. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. Smells so good. Oh, just big chunks of meat and fat floating around in that. Oh yeah, that is goat soup on the next level. Hello. 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 Thấy mấy nước ngào không? Nó, nó, nó thấy quầy phim nó, nó cũng là thấy vui lắm. Thank you very much everyone. Oh man, everyone is so nice. They're so friendly. Uh, they're so excited. And I think they have definitely dished out the food long ago. We're coming back to the dining room to eat. Oh, here we go. We've got a full tour of the kitchen. Yeah, you love it, huh? You got that snow. We have a huge snow. We have goat meat. We have chicken. Then we have the contumely soup. It's called the green soup. And then we have the light soup as well. Nó nấu bằng cái gì mà nó nấu cái gì mà Nhìn thấy nó gần thui vậy hả? Variety of different soups. Yeah. They're so nice. Yeah, they, they wanted. They showed me all of the ingredients in the back. Those snails are some of the biggest snails I've ever seen in my life. They're huge. Yeah, they're the jungle snails. Wow, they're giant. Uh, but so we got food in the middle. They make it into a, a ball. Um, and is it in in God's here? Share, share one bowl of food with friends. Okay, very very common. Very cool. This is the giant snail. It looks like a claw. It looks like a dinosaur claw. There. You take your two fingers. Like a scissors. Ah, like a scissors. You chop off a piece. Okay. Không không phải có gà, có gì con ốc không ạ? Okay, so you use your two fingers and chop it like a scissors because it's like a dough. Oh, and you can eat from that. Is that okay? And then just dip it in the soup. Feels like dough. Very good. Okay. And you're also not supposed to chew food. Yeah, yeah, you're just for it. Okay, I think I took too big of a bite though. I had to chew that one a bit. Next time, next time. But yeah, that is the technique. You're not supposed to chew the food because it's so smooth. You just dip and swallow. And then you eat the meat separately. That's something I learned in Ghana. Try and dip in as much soup as you can so you have a lot of soup. You actually, you snip it, snip it with your fingers towards your inside. And that works a lot better. Okay, and that feels good because it sticks to your fingers. And then try to scoop up as much soup as possible. This is just know the specialty. You eat the entire thing? Oh yeah, I chew everything. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is the deshell snail. Just look at that. It looks like a dinosaur claw. Yeah, or like a liver. That is. Ah, cái đấy cái gan. Wow, that's intensely. Cái gan của con ốc. Try the Goliath snail. Yeah. Oh, it's almost like squid, <laughs> but with a, a more jungly taste to it. Oh yeah, you can taste like you can taste the nature in that. Okay, next up for the it looks kind of like the goat foot. That's a lot of a lot of skin on there. Oh wow. Oh yeah. There's 
definitely goat. Um, it's kind of like blubbery, and you can kind of taste the collagen, feel the collagen in there. We tackled this mola poo pretty fast. It was good. Yeah, it was so good. We didn't <laughs> stop eating. Final bite. It's really good. <laughs> That's soup. But the whole combination of everything is what makes it so good. Yeah. We're rolling out of the chow bar. Not only was that just some some really really good food, but that was an entire experience, Ghanaian meal experience. How are you guys feeling? And it's been a great time. The ultimate Ghanaian food tour, Accra. One of our final stops today, we have stopped to, to buy some Ghanaian clothes. Micah already got an outfit, actually. Check out the shirt I'm going to get tomorrow or the next day or in, in a video coming soon. And we'll, be, we'll be rocking matching outfits. Welcome back. Medassi, Medassi, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. That was amazing. Thank you. That was so much fun. We'll keep in touch. Definitely, definitely. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye. It's actually the next day. Uh, during the, the main ultimate food tour, we ran out of time, and then we, we got like exhausted and so hot. Uh, but there's one more Ghanaian street, essential street food that we need to try on this food tour. It's called Chichenga. And they're essentially kebabs, meat kebabs with onions. They put some spices on them. They grill them over charcoal. Uh, you can get a variety of meat. I was hoping they would have some guinea fowl, but uh, they have goat today, mostly goat, which is fresh. Ah. Thank you. Two more spicy on it. Sure. They had more chili, more chili, always good. He grills up the skewers of meat over a really, really hot charcoal fire and he just sizzles away off. Uh, and as he's doing that, he sprinkles it with uh, it mostly chili pepper powder uh, and then salt. Fresh right off the grill. Uh, you can see how they're just, they're just caked in that chili powder mixture. Oh. Oh, that's tasty. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Okay, street meat around the world is some of the best. It's just a little bit spicy. That chili powder is almost nutty. It's salty. This one is goat skewer, by the way. Anh này một tháng ảnh vô cầm khoảng cả trăm ngàn đô la mà. Anh ăn qua cái thứ này là thôi đối với anh là không có nghĩa lý gì. That's delicious. Một ngày anh đi mà anh quăng ra mà chuyện bốn năm trăm đô la cũng không ăn okay, nhầm gì anh hết. Uh, it's a cow liver skewer. Tại vì uh, ảnh uh, And that liver is not. Tiền mấy not nó nó vô nhiều quá mà thật like ra nên really đi crumbly. đi mấy cái này là kể This như đi uh, oh, man, cho vui. That, that, like, để quay phim để cho bà con xem. Đi du lịch luôn. Yeah. Cái đi qua mấy cái xứ này tốn tiền không đáng kể. Had to have one more goat skewer. This is the type of meat you could just snack on all day long. Vanilla one? Yeah, the normal one. One more snack. Hey, coi right nhà cửa mà che cổ cái gì cũng người ta thấy cũng tội nghiệp ghê. It's, it's all over Ghana. It's a it's a vanilla ice cream but it feels I thought it was going to be hard. It feels almost like yogurt on the inside but it's cold. What you do is you bite off the end of the plastic bag. Tear it open, and then you kind of suck it out of the bag. <coughs> Đây là ở trong cái vùng mà thành phố đó nha. Yeah, that's like soft serve ice cream. Cái người mà ở ngoài nông thôn ở mấy cái vùng rừng mà còn người ta còn nói like. khác nữa. Này. A little bag of soft serve ice cream. Nói tới Phi Châu thì thôi we khỏi kê rồi. On our way back to Osu, back to the house we were staying at, but it. it, it This was an amazing ultimate Ghanaian food tour of Accra. 
I want to say a huge thank you to Majid and Ernest rồi, for chúng ta sẽ tiếp tục ở cái uh, clip kế nha. Sắp hết rồi đó. Uh, we Jamestown was very cool to walk around. Oh man, we're pretty worn out though. That was that was the, the sun just beats down and there's like little shade. I think that really wears you out. So we're pretty we're pretty worn out. Uh, we're going back to rest, but again, thank you to Majid and Ernest for taking us around and we have fully enjoyed our time in Accra. Uh, so I'll have all the information in the description box that you can check out. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you, if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. Also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video. Thanks. Hey, it's Mark Weens. I'm in Ghana, West Africa, and today we're going to Elmina, which is a historically significant city on the Atlantic Ocean. We're going to meet up with a host mom who's going to take us to the fish market. Uh, we might find some other delicacies to eat on the way, and then we're going to cook and eat some incredible Ghanaian food. This is going to be a, a great day, and I'm, I'm excited to share it with you today. We just stopped on the side of the highway. They sell a lot of bush meat from the night's catch, uh, but mainly what we're searching out is a grass cutter, which is a, a greater cane rat, which is really a delicacy in Ghana. We got the grass cutter. I'm very excited. I think, well, it's fresh, so we got to eat it today uh, during our our fishing food meal from Elmina. We're also going to have grass cutter. <coughs> We made it through Cape Coast, driving through Cape Coast, and we're on our way to Elmina, which is a few kilometers west. Anh phải đi 3 km nữa mới tới nơi. All right, we have just arrived in Elmina. We're going to meet up with our host mom before we go to the fish market and, and to the coast. Nice. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Hình như anh đi đi vô cái nhà. <laughs> Cái gia đình của cái anh hướng dẫn viên ấy. Learn about the culture and and the food. And um, for sure we want to have some grass cutter with Ghana soup and omuto for dinner. So um, probably yes. after the uh, shopping with the fishing we come back and then we we'll, I don't mind I'll get a place I help you to to burn it Great. and he can film everything from start to finish and um, Thank you very much for allowing us to use your home. Yes, thank you very much for hosting us. And now we're going to head to the fish market here in Elmina. Oh, yeah, I can go to the Everybody say hello to Emmanuel. Hi. We're going to be hanging out with him for the next few days. We're going shopping for the for the food, and we're going we're gonna to see the, the fish market and the boats. We have just arrived at the, well actually it's right at the castle, but this is where the market is in Elmina. So we're going to go to the market, we're going to go to the fish market. Uh, you can smell the fish in the air, you can smell that salty, that salty air, and it's that humidity. Oh, that's the port, and this is the castle over here. This is a bird's eye view of Elmina, the market area. You can see the inlet of water comes in. We're really close to the coast, I mean, we're on the coast, but then this is uh, some water that comes in where the boats uh, dock, where they bring their fresh catch. It's just a sea of colorful canoes, wooden boats. <laughs> We're just getting into the market now. Oh yeah, and you really Nhìn cái hoàn cảnh thì thấy biết là người ta giàu hay là nghèo, nghèo cỡ nào. It's a real overdose of senses, the colors, the smells, the sounds. You do have to be very careful taking photos here. Some people don't want their photo taken. But overall, it's quite spacious. Most people are friendly. Uh, yeah, this is the, the full fish market experience of Elmina, that's for sure. I'm nói là có nhiều người không có muốn quay phim. 
จ้าขาหอมแทนนะฮะอืมเมนูเดียวเนี่ยเราไปกินที่ร้านเราไปกินที่ร้านเราไปกินที่ร้านเราไปกินที่ร้านเดี๋ยวชุ่มยืดจ่อกาจักดีมูกาแดมเลยกันยาด้านนู้นอ่ะเห็นี้ละไอ้กุ้งไหนอ่ะไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้กุ้งไอ้ Uh, where we're gonna eat the the grass cutter, which I'm very looking forward to, and the fish as well. And Bernard is gonna. Are they a j a c k o o k a t Jackie, w h a y o u o o It was hanging on the tree one minute ago. <coughs> oh, oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's really nice. อันนี้มาแค่แค่ยาในมาดูใหญ่แล้วล่ะกูขายาแล้วเนี่ย I mean there really is nothing that refreshes and gets those those your your juices flowing again like a coconut pull open my my coconut yeah he did cut it I wasn't I wasn't that strong to pull it apart by myself um and then you got the the all natural spoon a piece of the husk to to scoop it out That's as good as it gets. <laughs> so you like to eat grass cutter? <laughs> yeah, normally we do when you visit the c h o b a s especially. Okay, But it's they, really a specialty. Yes. Right? yes. And you take care of it. All right. Now that. ไอ้จ๊กลงไอ้ไอ้ไอ้กุ้งนั่นแหละล่ะน้อยน้อยยำละแล้วถ้าบ่อทิ้งอยู่จังมันจะจบจุงลงถึงเลยอันอยากเห็นไม่เบียดละไอ้กุ้งมาคนไทยให้ฮับตังนั่นแหละไอ้ไอ้ไอ้กุ้งนั่นแหละ after she mashed up the yam then separately they boiled some palm oil Onions, uh, brought that to a simmer, and then she poured in some of that hot oil into the yam. It's kind of like hydrating, kind of like warming it up. You can see that the the yam looks real like real starchy and kind of dry, but rehydrating it with that that flavorful palm oil. Cái cái dầu của cây cỏ, đó rồi luộc cái trứng để vô trong đó. À, cái đó ăn là thấy cơm á, thấy bánh mì á. So yummy. Grab an egg and grab some of the yam. The yam. Oh, you can see the onions in there as well. This looks amazing. But yeah, you can feel it's starchy um, and kind of dry. Make like a make a little ball like that. It has that dry yam texture, but you can taste the flavor of the palm oil. It almost, you would almost think it's pumpkin from the color, from the orange color. And now I'm going to grab some of the egg, mix it with some of the yam as well. Yeah, well, that's a combination. That's the meal combination. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, sure. You can also eat it with ground nuts. So you just got some ground nuts, which are peanuts, um, and then you. I'm going to take a second yeah. helping. Another egg uh, with some peanuts sprinkled on top. Real <coughs> good. Mm. Oh, the groundnut—that's really good, because you've got the 
the yam is so dry that it's kind of fluffy, but then you've got the crunch of the peanuts. They contrast the textures. It's a little bit of a dry dish, but it was really a, a good dish. It's, it's a very special dish. Uh, next, we are on our way to Elmina Castle. And and the sun is, sun is at full, 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 blazing, blazing, full blazing heat right now. Thành ra nó trồng được cái củ của cái cái củ đó nó lấy cái củ đó là nó nó thế gạo nó ăn đó. Hình như cái nhà đó là ngày xưa là là buôn bán nô lệ ở ở cái nhà đó. Đó cái nhà đó đó. We just made it back to the house. We're getting started cooking for dinner tonight. Uh, and first step, we're uh, Emmanuel is taking the grass cutter and you have to cut the, the hair. So he's just roasting it over the fire, burning off that hair to prepare it. Yeah, when we talk about bushmeat in Ghana, this is really, really well. What are these bushmeats? The delicacy. Oh, nice. As Emmanuel and Bernard are preparing the grass cutter, Mama is frying up the fish, uh, and she's frying it in coconut oil. So that aroma coming off of there, and I think she oh, cut a little bit of onions for that aroma. The onions, <coughs> the the coconut oil, the frying fish that smells incredible. And I just love how she's using a knife to flip over the fish. <laughs> she has some amazing chef skills. <laughs> This is going to be just for the pepe soup with only the grass cutter. Grass cutter pepe. They're using some of the grass cutter to make a grass cutter light soup with onions. It's going to be a, a pepper soup. Um, and then the remaining portion of the grass cutter with some of the fish is going to go into a ground nut soup, which is another dish. Uh, both of which I'm very excited yeah, to ăn cái, 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 We are going to use all this này, grind, grind, grind it together. Ăn ba cái nhà hàng sang trọng coi chiếc chán thấy mẹ. Không có vui. Oh, coi nó nó cà mấy cái trái ớt hay không? <cười> Rồi nó bỏ hành tỏi vô đó nó. Uh, but so many cultures have a version of mashing spices to create a paste. Uh, cái uh, cái thằng cu tí uh, đang đang mới ngồi đó nó cũng ngang, ngang ngửa với thằng con của ảnh đó. Cái tuổi cũng nhỏ xíu vậy đó. Mà hai đứa kể như là Uh, hai đứa kể như là hai phương trời cách biệt luôn á. Uh, and then they tossed in a couple tomatoes which are going to boil down. But yeah, 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 that's all coming together. Actually the grass cutter has a very unique, definitely a bush meat aroma to it. Cái nhà này là cũng khá giả uh, so với ở đây đó. Nó mới được đầy đủ vậy đó. The tomatoes that were boiling coming to grind it and adding today. Okay. Còn cái này là gì ta? Grass cutter rice soup is ready. It's ready. Yeah. Okay. Next, Mama is getting prepared, <coughs> starting on the ground nut soup. And so first she boiled, they're actually called garden eggs. I think it, it looks like a type of eggplant, but they're called garden eggs, tomatoes and chili. She boiled them and then they're gonna blend all that Cái up to make the sauce. <coughs> oh, <coughs> that's ground nut paste, which is like, it's like peanut <coughs> butter, uh, which she's mixing up. <coughs> Nó kêu là cái hộp gì mà nó kêu cái hộp đất không biết. Whenever you travel, there's just nothing better than home cooked food, a home cooked meal prepared by a family. Uh, they've worked together to prepare dinner. Things are coming together. We're getting ready to eat pretty soon. 
anh đã đi chơi vậy không có gì bằng mà để nấu ăn mà được ở trong gia đình nấu ăn Final step before we eat, she's making the rice balls, though. and so she cooks the rice so it's kind of like kind of a little bit sticky and uh, kind of wet, uh, but then she actually kind of mashes it with the spoon to make it more of a, a sticky kind of pasty consistency. Cái này giống là cơm đó. Cái này cơm nó nó nấu rồi nó quết lại cho nó dính một cục vậy. Con bé đứa nhỏ kìa, con ảnh đó, con ảnh nó nằm với mấy người kia luôn á. That's really incredible how she does that. She she forms it into a perfect, like a, almost like a softball shape. Uh, but first mashing the rice with the paddle, mm. then into a bowl and just kind of like shaking it. Until con nó nấu like, rồi là nó nó quết, nó quết lại cho dính cục shape. luôn rồi nó vắt như là cái trái banh vậy đó hay không mỗi một cái xứ sở cái văn hóa người ta nó khác rồi người ta làm những cái món ăn này nó vui sao bà bà dắt cục cơm rồi á bà à bà để đó tưởng đâu bà bà đổ vô trong cái nồi chứ đó bà, bà dắt nè một người trái banh vậy đó We're all sitting down to eat now. We are beginning with the ground nut soup. Uh, this is the dish I've been excited to try. Là ground nut là cái hộp. There's nothing better than a <cười> cái hộp đắt mà không biết là hộp gì không biết. Piece of fish and a piece of the grass cutter in here, and I think. Cái hộp đó nó 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 nấu súp à. The rice ball and dip it into this. Oh yeah, that sticky, real sticky texture. Oh yeah, that's hot and it's thick from the peanuts. Chơi bóc không phải không? Oh, it's really good. Oh, you taste the real nutty ground nut flavor. Cái uh, miếng này hình như là miếng cá ha. A little bit of a tomatoey flavor as well. It's thick, it's rich. I like how it's not this version is not oily at all. Uh, there's no oil in there. It's just relying on that like hearty peanut flavor. Mhm. Mm That's wonderful. Okay, moving on to the fish. I'll mix in à, some cá, rice cá, cá mua nãy bà chiên đó. Bà chiên xong rồi bà bỏ vô oh, trong cái nồi awesome. bà Clean bà nấu súp. Ăn cái này xong rồi ra còn ăn cái con chuột con chuột nướng rồi kia nữa kìa. It's time to try the grass cutter my first time ever and this is there's just the first there's just a little bit of grass cutter in here most of the grass cutter is in that separate soup. Is this the hind leg? The hind leg? The drumstick, and you eat it all. Oh, sao giống cái đùi gà quá vậy? All right, it feels quite tender. Đúng rồi, cái đó cái đùi gà mà. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, that's that's extremely tender. Mm. Đúng rồi, cái đùi gà. It's it's very similar to chicken, but with like a sweeter, almost like cardamomy kind of taste to it. And yeah, by the way, this is a it's called a greater cane rat, Emmanuel. Cái đùa gà ha, đùa con chuột. I'm like amazed how tender it is. And flavorful. Coi cái này, cái gì là cá hay là gì? That soup was incredible, and now we're all gonna move on to second course, which is the the grass cutter soup. Yeah. And so we, I think this time I had a I had a leg before I had the drumstick. Now I think I have a piece of the back. Oh, do you take a? Yummy. Yeah. Hình như là cái này là cái thịt chuột đó. And what what's amazing to me is it's so soft and tender. Yeah, like white meat. So tender. Yeah, white meat. 
Cái đó là cái thịt chuột đó. À, đó là đó cái gan vậy là gan chuột rồi đó. cái con chuột mà sao nó kêu là cái con cắt cỏ không biết I didn't know what to expect. I thought it would be more like a like a rat, but really it tasted like chicken, so fall apart tender. Uh, yeah, extraordinary. I can see why it is a delicacy in Ghana. What a meal. Thank you very much. Anh ăn xong rồi bây giờ anh đi về đó. We had an amazing day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey Ben. Yes. Thank you so much. That was great. Yes. Nice having you. I are. loved it. Wow. Thank you. So we're staying in Cape Coast, uh, so we just drove back from Elmina. Uh, you can hear the waves of the Atlantic crashing behind me. Uh, but just reflecting on today, it's been a, an abs another absolutely sensational, incredible experience of a day today. Uh, having the chance to hang out, um, to okay, buying the grass cutter and eating the grass cutter, that was that was a highlight for me. Is that something? No, I never like grass cutter. Also, like, I mean, going to the market. Like um, just going through the market and and just the raw culture, the action, the energy, the colors, the smells, and then cooking the food at home. I want to say a huge thank you to our entire host family. And I was on this tour too. They set everything up, so thank you to Candyland Tours. Uh, they're doing great things in Ghana. I'll have some information in the description box below. Bye bye. Uh, and thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And yeah, if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video. Thanks again for watching. Good night. See you.